Hey guys, Hudson here, and today I'm going to show you how to open up your NAT hype on your Xbox One, or port forwarding your Xbox One, so you can, because most routers, or some routers, can block the Xbox Live services, and you can't actually connect to games, or talk on voice chat, and whatnot, so this video is just to show you how to remove that restriction. Um, if you're on a Mac, I'm not actually entirely sure how to do this first bit, but if you're on a Windows, uh, this should be super, super easy. Um, basically first you just got to go to the bottom left, press the windows button or the type here to search and type CMD, so this command prompt comes up, click that, and then in the command prompt you want to type in IP config, press enter, and then you'll get all this uh, network mumbo jumbo. Um, at the bottom you want to find your default gateway, and you want to copy this number here, because this is what you'll need for this next part. Open up any web browser and then just paste that into the link bar. Usually you might start off logged out like this. Um, if you do, usually the password is only like admin123 or something like that. I'll leave a link in the description on how to work your, um, your modem and stuff. So yeah, so basically just sign into your modem. Find, you want to find something that's got to do with like the device list, like what I've got here. Um, if you go to and just have, like, have a look around, you'll find device name Xbox One S. So I'm going to copy this LAN IP here, or local area network IP here. So I'm going to copy that, and then I'm going to scroll up and I'm going to try and find something that has something to do with port forwarding. So I'd assume content sharing or services. And then yeah, here we go, we'll go port forwarding, add a new map port mapping. We'll just type in, you know, Xbox. We'll change the pro the name doesn't really matter. We'll change all the protocols. Make sure that it has to be UDP. Every everywhere where it gives you an option to put like a port in, just put 88. That's all you got to put in. Nothing else. And then you want to paste in for the destination IP. You want to paste in that local area network IP for your Xbox. And then that's it there. Add that. Sometimes you might have to click a save button or whatnot. Sometimes you'll get like a bunch more options for the port forwarding, like you'll have six, six slots to put in ports, just 88, that's all you got to put in, protocols, UDP, and destination IP is the local area network for your Xbox. And that's it, literally, that's, that's it, congratulations, your NAT hype has been opened. If it doesn't work, don't be afraid to leave a comment in the description, I'll try and help you to the most I can. If you still can't figure it out, um, you might have to contact your ISP or your internet provider. Um, it might not be an issue on your side, it might be an issue on their side. And yeah, I hope this video helped, and if it did, be sure to leave a like and subscribe. Thanks.